early morning preparation was the order of the day. And this is how it goes for anyone going tuna fishing off Cape Town. Today our cameraman is joining Nish Ibrahim from the boat Monish, a newly built 32 foot magnum. This boat was especially adapted for Nish's daughter Samara who's made a big mark in fishing already. As most will know most of the time the results are in the preparation as demonstrated by Nish South African Pratia Angler. Morning guys, Team Monish, we're going out to catch some yellowfin. Samara Ibrahim, Vian Valkemut and Andres Matea. We're going to have a bit of fun today. The wind is a bit pumping but we'll have a good day out in the water and we'll see what happens. And let's go catch some fish. Let's go. Come. The weather is a bit on the rough side, but the popping rods and reels is getting prepared as well as the training rods. The departure from Harbour Island in Gordons Bay is always a beautiful sight and the comfort of a well-built larger boat is essential as the run is most of the time in excess of 40 nautical sea miles. Again we would like to apologise for the lack of audio on the boat as there were some microphone difficulties. As they arrived on the destination, the trolling rods were put out quickly. Some with birds as teasers in front of the corners and some poppers being thrown on the side. Fishing was hard, but with Nish's experience, he made a plan to raise some tuna and get some action on the boat. And Samara was first in line. Now Samara also won the 2019 Western Province Junior Offshore League and she holds the 15 kilo line class record for a southern bluefin tuna. This fish was an all South African and Western Province record. Samara made quick work of this and a beautiful long fin tuna was on the boat quite quickly. These fish were kept to do a bit of a cooking session afterwards. Next up was Vian Valhamut shortly after getting a nice long fin on spoon. The long fin tunas can be absolutely great fun, especially on spinning gear. And often you will see them right next to the boat when you're chunking or chumming. And with poppers, it's an explosive experience when they take the boat.
tomorrow was added again with yet another long fin and again making short work of this. Unfortunately there was no yellowfin tuna today and with the sea being a bit on the rough side it really takes the toll on any individual. So after a hard day's fishing Monish took the long road back to Gordon's Bay. Now I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more of Samara in the future and can't wait for the next time but that time I'll definitely be joining them. And arriving back at Harbour Island in Gordons Bay, Falls Bay, it is as if the sea was completely flat. And this seal is not waiting for anything, he is waiting for some free bites. Now few things beat cooking fresh tuna as you arrive back in the harbour and Monish is geared for this, having its own little Weber gas bry on the boat. That looks delicious, absolutely mouth-watering. For those who haven't experienced tuna fishing in the Western Cape, guys, it's definitely something you should have on your list. There are several very experienced boats and charter operators in the Western Cape. So whenever you do get a chance, make sure you go and experience longfin and yellowfin tuna off Cape Town. Now guys, thank you very much for watching. And for those who've subscribed already, thank you. For those who haven't, please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we upload a video. Also like this video. That really helps us.